Lido's playground, Trump Squad. Oh my god, dude, we gotta play this. Yo, let's let's clear this. I won't sing something for you. Probably not. Probably not today. Maybe it maybe some maybe someday. But do 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 you liked algebra? I didn't start out being good at math. Well, when when algebra was first introduced to me, I feel like my teacher was just so bad at like explaining things, you know? I was so freaking lost, so confused. I was like, the fuck are you talking about? 3x equals 6. What are you talking about? I, I, my, I, yeah. Such a simple concept, right? Variables, but like, you need a teacher that, that can actually teach stuff. X equals two. Nice job, Green Heroes. But so instead, I, I'm pretty sure I ended up getting like, like a B minus or something in her in her class, which sounds okay, but like. I never got a B minus, but I I really didn't like the teacher. Actually, she had um, she had pi, like the number pi, and it was like on the border of the room, like all the way around the room. And um, so instead of learning algebra, like I literally spent, I should have done it from the beginning of like the semester, but I I, I literally spent like the last couple weeks of the semester just totally daydreaming in her class like I didn't I didn't pay her any attention she was so mean she was so mean dude so I just I just like memorized pi <laughs> I just I memorized like 20 28 digits of pi or something or like 30 something yeah if I had had a little bit more time I would have memorized the whole like border of her room that would have been awesome I still have it memorized. If you guys want to look up pi, I, I can rattle off the first like 28, I think, 30. I can do it. It's pointless though. It's weird how you remember weird stuff or it's, it's, it's like, I can remember like childhood friends, phone numbers which probably don't go to their house anymore. You made up a number, then it ended up being pi, and it was a lot of digits. I didn't check it though. Are you talking about in that other stream? Yeah, that was the nut. It's, I, I memorized it, dude. 3.14159265358979323846264338. There you go. So that's what I memorized. And then I remember trying to memorize more of it, but I was like, so like, that's like so ingrained in my memory from when I was a kid that like, it was hard to remember more. I remember weird stuff though. I have a weird memory. I'll remember like very specific things from like very specific days in my childhood. I think I can do the last jump, no problem. I know that sounds cocky. I did two of these the other day. I did like two out of three. I did like two out of three attempts jumping through a spike wall. No joke. You can't even remember your own phone number. Well, that's the thing is like, sometimes I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. Yeah, I did, I did two out of three spike wall jumps the other day, Lido. It was that level that I was telling you that I cheesed. Cause like I cheesed it and then I got the checkpoint and then I went back through. I don't remember what I was doing, but I tried another like spike wall jump and I failed and I was like, oh man. And then I tried for another one later on and I got it. So it was like two out of three times. That has to be so close. X equals nine. 
Started asking a teacher after class about probabilities in seventh grade and was told that was too nerdy to be learning about because I'd related it to Pokemon. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have talked it up, man. Dude, I felt that Trump jump. I felt it. Like I knew it was good, Lito. When I ground pounded, I was like, this one's good. I'm, I'm sure you know the feeling, but sometimes you just know. I was like, you know, it just felt right. That last jump is tough though. Like you don't, you did, there's not a lot of room to like get any sort of a run up or like gauge your momentum and stuff. The same guy was a teacher that ran the Star Wars club? What the heck? I like how he's gonna judge what's nerdy and what's not. <laughs> Star Wars! That had to be close. I never really got big into Star Wars. Never got big into Star Trek. I used to read a, <clears throat> I used to read a bunch of like fantasy and fiction stuff. Like a lot of R.A. Salvatore and like Tad Williams and just different stuff. But, you're a huge Star Trek fan? Like, I, I watched some of it growing up, and like, I watched, you know, the Star Wars movies. I don't know, I just never got into it. I was more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And stuff like that, I don't know. Harry Potter? Uh, I never, nope, I've not, I've not read the Harry Potter books. I started reading one of them. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the writing. But I heard that she gets better as the series goes along. I don't want to offend people. But yeah, I started reading Sorcerer's Stone and I was like... I don't like her writing style, you know? Yo, what up Rocky? How's it going? You have several Star Wars novels, still love them. Mm, I thought that one was good though. And sometimes you think it's good and it's not. Is learning math already nerdy? I mean, I think everyone should have some basic general working knowledge of mathematics, right? Just math is not nerdy. I think you can take it to a whole nerdy level. I don't think just like math in general is nerdy though. It's just like... The world around us is, it can be like interpreted with math. Math is cool. But when it gets to be like super advanced and require like these formulas and shit. I'm just like, all right, I'm just memorizing a formula and I, hey, and I don't really know how that we arrived at this formula. So like the answer is not really going to mean that much to me at this point. One out of two, one out of two, dude, I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Woo. Scary shit, dude. Scary.